extra, read all about it. Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Pisces energy impacts your life, including if you're dealing with a Pisces, please pull up a chair. There's a new Pisces video every single week. So please subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified and you'll know right when I upload all the newest uh, videos. But there's also a ton of wonderful videos for you to already search. So please go look at the playlist, the weekly tarots. Um, who knows what will resonate with you? Always check your sun, moon, and rising sign, especially if it doesn't. the sun sign isn't resonating with you. There is uh, an extended video that comes after this video. It builds upon the energies we pick up here, but it also... Um, it, it also susses out details and particulars and really personalizes this energy. So please join me for that later as well. Um, everything you need to know is in the link below, including my personal reading information. Uh, let's get into this energy. Pisces, we're going to start off with your crowning energy, which is essentially the theme that's going to impact the rest of the reading. And then your central energy, the energy at, your, at the core is essentially the challenges that you're facing. And then last but not least, we're gonna go move into your grounding energy, which is the energy holding you down or rooting you, helping you through. Okay, let's start with your crowning energy. Came out two. So bring your ideas to life and truth transcends illusion. So, um, Now you guys live in almost a perpetual state of divine inspiration, um, but this is definitely a sense, because this is uh, Aquarius energy. So this is a sense of community and the truth within communities, the truth about communities coming out has inspired many, many details. It's also a sense of something that you are working on or have been thought, thinking about or talking about coming to light and maybe becoming more relevant because of all all the burning and all all the um revelations that are happening right now there is a sense of you basically really having um um your hand right in the mix uh this is also a sense of being inspired or just realizing something all of a sudden something comes out that you didn't know was going on or didn't know what was happening and it's going to have a tremendous impact on you i don't think it's fully and completely emotionally impacted you yet because this is shocking news <laughs> that's what it is the electric eel this is shocking news um i don't know if you're dealing with an aquarius or you're dealing with an air sign but something has, uh, something has really surprised you. So let's get into this energy because that's what it is. It's all of a sudden, two, 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 four. So let's, two, two is four and two plus uh, four is six. There's just some shocking revelation about, it could be your romance or your love life, uh, realizing something that you didn't know about your lover. Um, but there's also just a sense of just news that you were not prepared to handle. Uh, let's get into your, watch your words. Ooh. Saying what you think somebody needs to hear, having a parrot, or if somebody constantly telling you what they think you want to hear, instead of actually telling you the truth. This is information that's now coming to the surface, four plus five. There is a sense of um, not having been told the truth, not having had the truth completely revealed to you, and then all of a sudden it was. And why? Because... Um, to placate somebody. Maybe you weren't speaking the truth. This is Gemini energy, but it's that deceptive Gemini energy. It's like you can listen and you can hear and you know what they want to hear. So that's what you've been saying. And, and that's what you've been sort of wah, squawk, like feeding it back to them. But you're not really saying what you, what's really on your mind or what you really feel. But the truth is this, it's coming out. Something that you have sort of placated and tried to make go away by saying what somebody needs to hear it, it can't be hidden anymore. Hold on. Take a leap of faith. It's getting on your conscience. That's what it is. It's playing on everything that you know to be right and correct and moral. You could have some information that somebody that will really hurt a situation or really bring some walls down. Um, and I think that you've tried to keep it to yourself and just say what everybody wants to hear. But the thing is, Pisces, this kind of energy and this kind of information comes out one way or the other. So it's better if you're the one to say it because it's starting to weigh on you. This is like Jiminy Cricket energy. Um, you know what's right. 
but right now you're not going along with it or right now oh boy that's a, that's a lot of energy um right right now you know how bad this is going to be you know how big this is going to be you know how much this is going to fuck up because your life is going pretty good right now and so you're struggling with creature comforts versus being comfortable with who you are in yourself, in your soul. Now is a lucky time. So this is a multiplying. These are both. Look at. Oh, no. Shit. If you go along with what everybody else is doing, this, this is a really messed up energy, Pisces. If you go along with what everybody else is doing or you just shut up and don't speak up and don't say anything, you're going to profit a great deal. There's going to be a lot of fortune. You're going to double your value. So whatever it is, whether it's financial value, financial resources, or if it's just your reputation, you're really going to be able to get some really awesome attention right now. You really are for just blending in, for saying what needs to be said, for shutting up, for swallowing the truth, for swallowing your words, for not standing out. For not standing out, you're going to stand out. Central energy, please. Learn from the past, two plus five. This is feeling like a stampede is coming towards you and not, not knowing what to do with it and trying to draw on past wisdom. This is that stubborn Taurian energy, Pisces, that energy of just um, pushing through something, but it's also paternal, patriarchal. And Aquarius had something here too. Remember Aquarius's energy was your future and your father. And then this very patriarchal energy, this bull, is coming in. I don't know if you're, I'll attach Aquarius above in case you want to, but it's almost like an Aquarius is sort of, they could be exposing something or bringing, being the messenger, bringing the, bringing the news. And they were connected to, they were connected to Scorpio as well. I'll, I'll, I'll attach that above as well. See the big picture. This is this is gentle Taurus energy. So this is this is a sense of stepping out, stepping above something, grounding yourself and still feel having the earth beneath your feet, but also looking at it objectively. Um taking that higher ground, essentially eating from a fruit that uh, other people or being like, giraffes can eat things that other Animals can't because they're higher up. They reach higher. So they actually have access. You have access to do better and do more. But will you? That's the question. Watch and wait. Five plus three is the energy of eight. Eight is destiny, but it also is money. And with this Taurus energy, there does seem to be like money could be coming into you. Money could be coming forward or you could have a real big opportunity when it comes to finances. And it's almost like you're, this is your energy. This is also father energy. Energy of, well, I kind of deserve this. This should come into me. But you're keeping a tight eye on this situation because the truth is you don't trust it. Or you don't trust yourself in this situation. Gemini, it's all happening way too quickly though. It's like you want to slow things down, but it just keeps pulling you along, dragging you behind it. It's going to insist on an answer and it's also communications, but sort of what I said, manipulative communications, a sense of um, something being thrown at you too quickly and you not being able to catch it fast enough or uh, say, being said too quickly so that you just agree to it, but you don't really completely understand it. Watch out for those things. Let spirit be your guide. This is a uh, two plus three. I can't speak. I mean, this retrograde, this Mercury retrograde has impacted me like 
week, like it, as soon as shadow period started, my communications went down, my technical, everything technical started to fall off. This was, it was, it's been craziness. So I apologize for not being able to be articulate. This is once again, having that perspective above, looking at things from above and trying to see things and do things in the right sense, in the spiritual sense. Embrace the in-between. This is Libra. Oh, you have so much air energy around you. What the f is going on? Embrace the in-between. Six plus two is eight. Once again, destiny and fate, but this is Libra energy and this is fitting in. Fitting in, not wanting to stand out. Believe in yourself. This is Virgo energy, something, something little by little you've been working on over time. Have you been trying to rediscover your family roots? Have you been trying to look for or search for a father? Because there is a sense of all of a sudden getting a surprise or getting a shock, a, a shocking news about this paternal person in your life. All of a sudden, um, things being, being revealed and realizing that you're a part of a bigger community or you have more in common with people than you think or that things have been hidden almost in plain sight for a very long time. This could be rediscovering a father that you never knew and he has been closer to you than you thought. This could be this energy of um, Mm -mm. No, I can't go back on that. This is a, this is a sense of um, only spirit is going to show you the way through. This is Virgo energy and Gemini energy, Mercurian energy. It's all kinds of messed up though. Only spirit is going to help you see your way through this, this sort of like wall of monotony in front of you right now. It, it wants you to rise above it, Pisces. That's what this energy wants you to do. But there's this sense of life being so much easier if I just blend in. Okay. This is your grounding energy. Be here now. It's upside down. This is three plus. You've been working on something. Be here now. This is Libra energy too. Partnership. No, something ugly is coming out. Trust in divine detours. Um, one plus six is seven. Once again, seven, seven. Something is literally sideswiping you. And it's a piece of information. It's, it's like a side of somebody that you never wanted to see. Something about somebody that you never wanted to know. And this is your grounding energy. It's like you realizing it. You're the one, you're the first, you're the first, this is it. This is leadership. This is receiving the messages from the spirit. You're the first one to notice this deviousness or this ugly side to somebody, you're the first one to notice it. You're the first one, you called it. You called it you, you, because, you, you, because you were in tune, because you got it. But there is a sense of, how do I make this work? I don't know how I even go about this. Where do I start? What do I do right now? What, where do I go from here? What, what do you want me to do with this information? Yeah, I think you've just played, you've played the safe route. You have, you, you've just tried to go along with what everybody else was telling you. But there is a sense of almost like snapping, snapping and not being able to do that anymore, even though it's working out pretty peacefully for you right now. People want to work with you because they think you're one of the status quo. You're one of the one that's, you're one of the blenders, but you're not, you're not like this. And you're so close to just popping off. This is a sense of, this is shocking news. Shocking news. 
and almost maybe even blaming yourself in some ways that you didn't do something faster or you didn't, you didn't intervene. Why am I getting this paternal energy coming in? You, you know something. You know something that you're, you're keeping from other people. I'm just going to say that right now. You know something that you're keeping from other people and it's really fucking ugly. And it's weighing heavily on your soul. It's weighing heavily on your spirit. You want to say it, but if you say it, you're going to go against an establishment that you're a part of. Hold on. Listen, I'm not trying to say because everything seems to be going very well for you right now. It's like you've gotten the money. The money's going really, really well. Um, there's a lot of abundance. People are rewarding you for the work that you've done. You're getting a lot of, I, was gonna, I would say, accolades or appreciation or bonuses. So there's monetary gain. There's a lot of Taurus energy here. It's like the patriarchy is feeding into you, is supporting you. And Gemini season is going to come in and fuck that all up because there's some hidden information. There's that shadow side that's coming out. You're noticing it. You're seeing it. It's, it's being directly delivered to you through. You could be a conduit for this. You could have been the poster child for yay establishment for a while. And all of a sudden, what is it really? This sense of seeing the ugly underbelly, the uh, ugly side, the shocking side, the sense of um, not wanting to be here, but be here, like feeling stuck with the information that you have. You've just seen a side of somebody that you never wanted to see. And literally spirit is sitting here saying, yeah, we showed it to you for a reason. You're the one that has to do something about it. Knowing, knowing that you have to do something about it. There's a higher purpose here. It's not just about truth either. There's a little bit here, eight. Who you are, who you really are in your soul. Who are you really? Have you lost that sense of yourself to comfort? Hmm. Really interesting energy. I'm going to clarify this with tarot. There's, got, there's a whole backstory. There's, a whole, there's so much more information that's going to come out. I welcome you guys over there, Pisces. Of course, your uh, romance reading is going to be there too. Link is below.